Hey guys, this is Nevin here. I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of uh, give you a progress update on to uh, the progress that we're making with AutoBidder, the updated version. I know I spoke with a lot of you guys, um, you know, over the past few months here. So I just wanted to make a video to kind of address uh, everything in terms of, you know, where we're at so far. So the reason uh, it's taken so long is because with the old version of AutoBidder, although it looks good on the front end, um, there were a lot of shortcomings in terms of, you know, being able to connect it to your CRM, being able to log in and update your pricing on your own, uh, being able to integrate with, um, you know, like Jill's office and stuff like that. So it just made it more difficult. Um, so I wanted to take, uh, I've been working on this for probably about the last 18 months. I know the first version of AutoBidder completed about, I don't know, a little over a year ago, pro probably about 14 months ago. So, um, I just wanted to go through this here and show you some of the, the updates to the new version. So this is obviously the old version you guys are probably familiar with. A um, couple of drawbacks is that you were kind of limited to the services that were here. Um, you couldn't really add custom services unless I added them for you. And you couldn't, you also couldn't really update your own pricing. You had to go through me because um, although it looks good on the front end, the back end is super, super messy. Like it is really not feasible for me to just like log people in and say like, okay, go update your own pricing. Um, so if you ever wanted to update pricing, you'd have to email me and then, you know, um, you know how things are like later in the season, you probably dip your prices a little bit uh, just because the market starts to shrink. And so it's, it'd be kind of complicated. You'd have to go through me to do it and then wait for me to get back to you. And then, you you know, um, and so with the updated version, uh, I've made it to where you can basically log in and adjust your pricing uh, right away. On your own um so of course this is the front end version uh, and then also made some other design things so uh, this is uh what the dashboard is going to look like of course the old version of autobitter there was no dashboard so that's kind of one of the part of the things that's taking so much time is just building the dashboard um but this is sort of what the updated version is currently looks like um this is the autobitter form uh you know and there's the kind of the default services that will be set um, house washing, roof cleaning, pressure washing, fence cleaning, deck cleaning, and gutter cleaning. Uh, but one of the cool features that I like is that we made it to where you can now add your own service and then set your own pricing rules. Um, and now I'm, I'm probably going to offer, um, you know, a service, uh, probably charge more for it uh, just because of the time where, um, you know, I can walk you through and create a service for you. Uh, but it's so much easier to add a service. Now, all you have to do is add a service. And the nice thing is you can choose your own icon too, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so, like in this case, if you do want to add like window cleaning or, or something like that, um, let's see here, you can add in window cleaning. And then you see there, it adds it at the end. And then um, you can also choose, <coughs> excuse me, the colors uh, on your own as well, which is really nice because you can just choose whatever your company colors are. And then, you know, on the auto bidder form, it will update right away which is a really nice feature. Um, and then you can also add your own videos. And now I'm going to provide videos for each service because um, I want to make it as useful as possible right out of the box. But you also have the ability to add your own videos in here um, as well if, you, if you'd rather do it that way. And then, of course, we're also adding a stats page and a leads page where anytime a lead comes through, you can view it right inside of here. Uh, but then we're also going to make it to where you can connect to Zapier or you can connect to Marcate, and then you can have that information sent to Marcate. So if a customer does book inside of AutoBidder, they're given a price, they like the price, they think it's a fair price, um, they can choose to accept the bid and schedule right then and there. Of course, there's still going to be that you know area where you know you can still confirm the price. But um, uh, this is the front end form. So then, uh, how do you set the pricing? Um, it works really, really simple. It's all just multiplication, really. Uh, you just have for each service, you might have a few variables, and then you just multiply those variables. So then you just kind of have to think about like perfect example would be like you take the square footage of a house, you multiply that by your average, whatever your price per square footage. So like you might charge twenty cents for vinyl, twenty five for brick, twenty five for stucco, so on and so forth. User enters a square footage, they select vinyl. Then uh, <clears throat> you might add, you know, 30% to the price, which would be 1.3 if it um, has a walkout basement. And then, uh, so I'll just walk you through it here. So um, this is how I currently have it set for house washing. So we've got, you know, how many square feet, user enters that, how many stories, uh, user enters that. And then uh, what I'm also going to do here is just add uh, for the material. So we might charge 20 cents per square foot for vinyl. We might charge 25 cents per square foot for brick. And then we might charge maybe let's just say 26 for stucco just so it's a little different um, and then you can add other variables too so if you wanted to also add in like i don't know um aluminum um usually i just put aluminum with 
vinyl, but you can just add in aluminum and then you just go, you know, whatever the price is. Um, oh, looks like I didn't save it. Let's try that again. Aluminum. And then we're just going to give aluminum price. So aluminum might be maybe 21 cents or something. And then, of course, all that's editable. So you can, whatever you want to charge, you just charge it. And then uh, essentially the way it works is um, th there's this form, which would be like, you know, if you have an office manager or you have a, if you use Jill's office or something like that, um, you want to streamline the workflow. The first question when a customer calls, um, you can either take their information first if you'd rather do that, or you can just ask them, you know, what services do you want? You just select the services. If they select house washing, then you say, okay, about what's the square footage of the house? Now, a lot of times they don't know. So you could also make this a drop down and, and do a range if you'd rather do range square footage. Um, or um, what I'm going to do uh, is build in the square footage tool as well, just like on the old version. Uh, um, it's, that way you don't have to open a separate tab and then go to Google Earth and then measure it. You can just do it right inside the browser, uh, which makes it a little bit nicer. But let's just say it's 1,500 square feet. And then stories, you could say two story and then um, for the material, you can just choose whatever the material is. Usually it's vinyl. And then you just enter the user's name. So I'll just say Billy, say Billy Joe, I'll say in at g.com, enter the phone number, and then enter the address. And then you can see here it spits out a price. Now, this is another really nice update. So we've got the disclaimer right here saying, you know, in most cases it'll be accurate because we want to we want to make the customer feel like they checked off a box. Hey, OK, you know, they've been needing to get the power washing done for a while. They went through and now in the customer's mind, it feels like, OK, cool, that's done. I don't have to worry about that anymore. That's what we're trying to do. But we also want to have that disclaimer. That way, a customer doesn't get upset if you do come back to them and say, hey, you know, the price is actually going to be a little bit more because of these variables, so on and so forth. So then the user has the ability to accept and book. And if they accept and book, that's where the trigger comes to your CRM. Um, and we want to integrate natively with Marcate because that's the most popular CRM um, for pressure washers from what I've seen. There's some other popular ones too that I'd like to eventually integrate with Jobber um, and maybe House Call Pro um, and maybe even the customer factor. But for right now, Marcate is my favorite. Um, so the way it would work is a customer accepts and books and then it books it inside of Marcate. So their contact information is in Marcate. That way it's all seamless with Marcate, basically an extension of Marcate. Um, it's basically a, an easier way to integrate your website with your, which is like the front end, like the face of your business to the back end, which is the, the, the Marcate CRM, which is the brain of your company. It makes a more seamless integration because the old way, essentially the user fills out their contact info. Now you have to call them, set up an appointment, go out to the house. Or if you do it how I do it, I just look up their house on Google, give them a price over the phone. Uh, sometimes I'll go out and, and do an in-person estimate in, in some cases, but for the most part, it's like you have to call them, you have to, you know, it takes time out of your day, whereas this basically eliminates all of that time. That's sort of the idea. Um, but you can see here, it presents them with a price, 540 based on the um, services that we selected and, and the information that we selected. Now, if we go over to the leads page, uh, you can see Billy Joe was, was added. Now, I entered testing as the address, so... Um, it pulls up, a, if I would have entered an actual address, it would have their address pulled up right here in Google Maps, which is really nice when it comes to um, confirming the price because all you have to do is log in, um, open it right up on your phone, go to the lead, click it, look at the house and inspect it. This is another just micro time saving thing and because you don't need to, you don't need to log into two separate apps and then switch between, you know, all these different apps. Um, that's what I sort of want to do is like minimize the amount of time you have to spend in every single way possible. And e that even goes down to switching between apps. Um, uh, so yeah, right here, this is what we have. Uh, we're updating this a little bit more. There's still a few little things we have to do. If the user would have uploaded any images, then you would see those right here. So if they would have added, you know, we're going to have that option. So like a user will have the option to add images, but you can toggle that off. If you don't want that, that's fine. Um, but I like to have that because it is in some cases, a user might know that their house is unique. So you could just say that in the intro explainer video, say, you know, if your house is like a mansion or if there's something really unique about your house, just take a picture. And then what we'll do is uh, as soon as we get those images, we'll confirm the price right away as quickly as possible. That way the user is not waiting hours or even worse days for you to contact them. You have all the information you need right away and it saves you time and the customer time. So the photos would be displayed right here. Of course, I didn't upload any photos, so there's none right there. 
but um, that's how that would work. And then you have all their information right here. Still a little bit of work we got to do here in connecting some things, but um, whatever price quoted will show up right here. Um, and then I'm considering adding a lead source option. So it would ask, you know, the customer where they found you, Google, Facebook, postcard, neighbor, whatever. And then um, when it comes to tracking your KPIs, you'll be able to see like which lead source is getting you the most leads. I'm kind of on the fence about that because I do think it's a useful KPI. But I also think that the more questions you ask, the fewer people will fill it out. And that's something you have to keep in mind. Um, the more difficult you make it for the customer, the, the less likely it is that they're going to actually fill it out. So that's one thing I'm kind of on the fence about. But yeah, that's pretty much just a brief demo. We also have the stats page here. This is just demo stats right here. But you're, this is a nice funnel view. You'll be able to see how many people view AutoBidder, how many people complete the AutoBidder form, and then how many people... Um, actually make a purchase. And so it's usually going to look something like this. You have a bunch of people view it. Some people aren't going to fill it out. Then you're going to see how many people fill it out, how many people purchase. And then uh, we're going to add some other statistics in here. Um, and eventually um, we're also integrating our website system. Um, so like a lot of you guys who already use us for websites, you'll be able to manage it all right here. Uh, you don't have to use AutoBidder, by the way. Um, you don't. You also don't have to use us for your website. Uh, you can use a WordPress website, Wix website, uh, Squarespace. You can use whatever website uh, builder you're, you're using that that part doesn't really matter but we specialize in pressure washing we make some of the best pressure washing sites in my opinion of course i'm biased but um that's that's going to be built into and then of course under settings uh, this is where you can uh, deal with your integrations so mailchimp quickbooks market and zapier um you know market's probably going to be the one of the main ones and then um, we're still working on our affiliate dashboard uh, where you can um you know if you want to promote auto bidder um, like if you have a YouTube channel or an audience or something, um, we're going to have that available so you can promote auto bidder um, and, you know, you get paid out as well. Uh, and then we're also, you'll be able to view your billing information. If you ever want to upgrade or downgrade or cancel your account, you would do that inside of the billing page. Um, so that's just a brief overview as to where we're at right now. Uh, I know I wanted to have this done by the end of January, but then it's one of those things as you're developing, you run into a roadblock and then one roadblock takes a week Um you know, to figure everything out and work with the data. Um, and it's just been sort of that slow, tedious process. But I just want to show you guys, like, we are making progress. You know, it's not like we totally uh, stalled or anything. Uh, we're still making slow progress. Um, I have another long phone call uh, or video conference today with uh, the developers that are going to help out a little bit more. And so we're going to make even more progress. Um, but, yeah, we're hoping to have this done as soon as possible. We're making as much progress as possible. Um, and, yeah, that was pretty much uh, the update I wanted to give you guys. Um, we're going to make it a little bit more intuitive. Um, of course, you got these icons. Um, we're going to provide all of these icons so you can use them. Uh, we have uh, car detailing. So, like, um, you know, if you do offer car detailing or paver sealing, this is a great example, uh, paver sealing. A lot of my friends do paver sealing. You can add that in there. Um, car detailing. And uh, another really nice thing um, about this feature compared to the old feature, you can set your own pricing rules. So there's there's basic general. Okay, that one didn't take. There's basic general pricing rules, and that's how you would delete a service. So there's going to be default services, and then if you don't offer, let's say you don't do roof cleaning, you just delete roof cleaning. You just click delete. I'm not going to delete it because uh, I'm still working on it. But um, if you don't want to offer service, you just delete it. And then again, to add a service, um, you can also uh, have your own icons made. If you're a designer. Uh, or you know a designer, or you just want to hire one, um, you know, to better fit your branding, you can have your own icons made, um, which is another huge benefit to the old version, where, again, you were sort of, for the most part, stuck. I mean, I could update the icons, but you'd have to, again, go through me, and then it's a slow process, um, whereas with this version, um, and like I was saying earlier, you can also set your own pricing rules. The most straightforward and most simple is the one I just showed you guys, which is set pricing parameters and then just multiply it. So take this square footage, multiply it by, you know, whatever your price per square footage is for each material. Then set, you know, one story, two story, three story, four story, add a percentage for each one. You know, it's going to go up, you know, if it's two stories, it's going to be probably 80% more than if it's one story and so on and so forth. And then, you know, if it's a walkout basement and then if you have any other parameters, like if you live in, I don't know, maybe you live in Washington and you have different you know something slightly different than if somebody who lives in florida you know florida houses are going to be probably generally different than houses up in washington all, total all opposite end of the country so um yeah that's pretty much a brief overview guys i wanted to uh, give you an update as to where we're at um and um yeah so hopefully this video helps and um if you're interested in auto bidder uh i will make a video as soon as it's uh, readily available where you can sign up uh, and start playing around with it so i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and Hopefully you have a great day.